for the for the listeners out there, you know, what does experimentation in people analytics mean at Amazon, and and why do you think this is such an important element in, in people analytics and, and frankly HR in general? Yeah, let's let's talk about experimentation in HR, generally speaking. Um, let's take a minute first to reframe the notion of experimentation in, in HR. I think over the years we we've heard uh, this word. Uh, uh, kicked around and uh, it's created maybe at times like somewhat of a visceral reaction, like experimentation in HR and on the workforce that that sounds creepy. That sounds like an overstep of, uh, uh, of the, the social contract that companies have with their employees, a, a breach of trust. Um, I, I think a guiding principle when you think about uh, testing uh, something, uh, experimenting testing is that you do no harm. You can't, introduce a policy, a process, a program, uh, a product, anything that would uh, create an adverse impact to one group uh, and a more positive outcome than another. Uh, so again, this is hopefully at this point in the people analytics space, uh, a very o- obvious thing to say, but um, experimentation, I think uh, when you kind of look at it from a, like a do no harm standpoint, like, well, well what does it mean? I think it really it means that you're giving people more choices. Uh, you're creating you're creating variations on information that's helpful for people, um, and you're working backwards from the managers and employees that you're trying to serve to create a more personalized, helpful experience uh, for them to um, bring their best to work every day. Uh, so, if you th- if you think about working backwards from managers and employees, and then testing, you know what might be useful for a particular um, a persona or cohort of managers to receive uh, when it comes to uh, making hiring choices or putting people up for promotion or making uh, uh, compensation administration decisions or thinking about the like the equity of talent outcomes within an organization. Um, these are all really, really important uh, in some way, one way door decisions that you, you cannot get wrong. Um, and I think a lot of times people analytics teams can uh, get hung up on uh, what's the what's the single best way to to solve this problem and to do this, and we can we can debate decimals all day long. And uh, when you think about, for instance, the most compelling engaging metrics uh, on uh, the workforce and team to put forward to managers on a monthly basis, easy example, right? Um, you probably can agree on ninety percent of it really quickly, and then you could spend months debating ten percent. Why not create uh, variations on that 10% uh, that do no harm, uh, that don't kind of stray strategically from some of the, the needles you're trying to move and measure, uh, but measure the actual engagement of one, two, three, slightly different variations on a data product that ride the rails of a singular technology infrastructure and stack. You could do the same with content and words that might be in a recommendation uh, that appear to someone in a transactional workflow that might suggest the data shows that, you know, you know, without like, you know, oversharing the data shows that uh, X, Y, and Z are true of employees who uh, are similar to uh, this person you're looking at. Um, What's the psychology that you're trying to kind of instill in that recommendation? Uh, Are you trying to instill action, thoughtfulness, uh, immediacy, urgency? Um, uh, Let's, test a couple different versions and get the feedback on what our customers think is the right way or the wrong way to do this while doing no harm. Um, and you can, you can draw up a number of examples when it comes to um, data science uh, approaches and assumptions. Uh, uh, we uh, have, uh, I think, found that technology availability um, and, uh, and cost uh, and complexity uh, has uh, come way down in years. Um, conducting experiments sounds like a really time-intensive, daunting thing, and it is uh, time uh, invested. But I think if you test three versions of something in a way that does no harm and creates more choice and personalization, you get feedback and you can test, learn, fail fast, and create some implementation momentum in the process. So I think in my mind, that's what experimentation is all about. It's about choice and it's about uh, implementation and momentum. And by the way, meeting people where they are by hearing from them. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and 
digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe via your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.